Welcome to the Royal Society of Chemistry, which is hosting a panel discussion about the effects of Plan S on researchers' work and careers. So let's first of all introduce you to those researchers. They are on my left. They are Oishik Banerjee, who's a postdoctoral researcher at Birkbeck, University of London. I'm Dr. Oishik Banerjee, and I was uh, just part of this Plan S debate in Burlington House, uh, or organised by the Royal Society of Chemistry. And it was uh, amazing to talk and, uh, in this uh, very informed uh, discussion that, that, that we just had. Uh, one of the points that I'm taking away from this is that uh, Plan S um, is a really good idea. It is uh, an idea that is actually going to work, and, uh, uh, but we need to get the implementation correct. So mainly people are quite concerned, uh, uh, people around my age, uh, the early career researchers about what this will do to their future careers in, uh, well, because the plan is, is being applied uh, very fast and is not actually being applied globally everywhere. And that's where the main concern lies. There isn't enough protection for early career researchers if they are forced to publish in some compliant journals which do not have as high an impact as uh, uh, journals which are very well established and reputed, then are their career going to be badly affected? What if they apply to countries where Plan S is not known or somebody who doesn't know that you were forced to publish in some journal which is of a lower impact. And to my right at the far end we have Hazel Cox, a professor of chemistry at the University of Sussex. Hi, I'm Hazel Cox and I've just taken part in the RSC panel discussion on Plan S. And first of all I'm so pleased that the RSC got together some researchers today so that researchers can actually have a voice and have input into some of the issues that were and concerns that we have about the implementation of Plan S. And because until everyone is on board then people are going to be in limited where they publish. A lot of journals that we want to publish in to make sure that we get maximum exposure to the right audience aren't Plan S compliant. So what do we do about that? And what happens if people don't have funding? How are they going to publish in these journals? And one of the m major concerns is what about international collaborations? So if you're funded by a Plan S funder, so someone that's a part of this coalition, um, but you're wanting to collaborate with someone else, then you have to choose about which journals you publish in. And if they want to publish in a high-impact subscription journal, um, but we're not allowed to because it's not Plan S compliant, then it creates a whole load of problems. So it's really the implementation that is my major concern about Plan S. I'm, I understand that there is a big change that they want to make because it's been so super slow for such a long time. And of course, we want the implementation to not cause problems and, co and be as smooth as possible. But it's also important to realize that very, it's been a very slow process going. And will this not uh, 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 put pressure on the editors to just accept anything and everything that comes to them? And so each journal edition will have a thousand papers published in them. And what will happen then? They will start to look at models where more is better, you, uh, you, can, you can charge a bit more to uh, researchers to get into my journal, and then profit will come into the play. The market forces will take over again. Planis does not address the fact that if uh, uh, we don't use impact factor of journals and their names as a, a barometer of academic excellence. And what do we use? What, what other replacement are there? At the moment, if you're not from the right field or exactly know what the research of uh, a person is, there is no other way of judging whether that person's research is good or not. I think Plan S needs to uh, address these concerns and, uh, and the implementation needs to come after that. And although Plan S in principle is an excellent idea to have wide open access to everyone, it's really the implement implementation that is our main concern. So that's, that's, that's what I think. Thank you. Thank you.